Hi everybody and welcome back to Jaffa Cooks and today I'm going to show you how to make something special. Well, ever been out on a doner kebab night, had some kebabs or shawarma, looked inside and you see that white creamy garlicky paste, it tastes nice doesn't it? Now let me show you how it's done, it does taste really nice, it takes a bit of effort to make but once made you can store it in the fridge for a good couple of weeks and then just so long as you keep a dry spoon and don't double dip with a wet spoon or from your mouth you can keep it for a good couple of weeks. All right, so very simple. Um, it's just garlic, some oil, salt, and lemon juice. Um, and all this stuff is pretty much available at home. We've just got to use the technique to create that foamy, fluffy, uh, creamy sauce. Right, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Click on the bell icon, get the latest updates, find out which recipe I'm making today. Share with your family and friends. Tell me how it turns out for you, DM me, and give me a thumbs up. All right, so it's very simple. Um, there's gotta be a bit of noise, so bear with me for a while. So I've got 50 grams of garlic. I know that's a lot. It does sound a lot, doesn't it? But the thing is, the base is garlic. Um, and that's what gives it that, the garlicky taste with a bit of salt. But then that creaminess comes from these two elements. And I'll show you how to do it. Now, What I need to do is basically grind these two elements down to a paste before I start introducing these two elements, right? So bear with me, and it's literally just a bit of work with the, with the blender, uh, and you'll see why when it comes out toward, towards the end, you'll see it all of a sudden taking shape into like a white creamy sauce, okay? If it does start sticking or getting stuck inside, do take it out because after a while, uh, it'll just stop um, grinding or blending it down. So, as mentioned, it does require a little bit of work, but once it's ready, it can be used with any kebab. Um, check out my Dana kebab recipe, my Dana, Dana kebab recipe. This goes with it perfectly. A couple of more blends, and um, we should be ready to put the lemon juice and oil in. So you can see it's really pasted out. Yep, I don't see any big bits in there. It's nice and creamy. Now the next thing we're going to do is introduce to this whole recipe is the lemon and the oil. Now, this has to be put in a certain way and a certain measurement that we don't put it all in one go, but we introduce it slowly. So, very slowly I'm going to introduce um, the oil and the lemon juice very, very slow. It's like actually, in fact, it's like making mayo. It's just about emulsification, all right? So I'm just going to now turn this on and then very slowly I'll start introducing a bit of the oil and a bit of the lemon juice. So, as you can see, it's taking shape. The formation now, because it started to really emulsify, we need to use an up and down motion just to ensure that it starts creating a little bit of the air pockets inside as well. So I'm gonna carry on, and I've gotta really blend all these two together, so it's gonna take me a little time. Keep watching, and I'll show you what happens at the end. Just before I proceed any further, what I wanted to stop for a couple of minutes was just to tell you that as we pour the liquid of the oil and the lemon juice, do wait for it to completely dissolve before you add any more. So the, circuit, the up and down motion, the circular motion, will make sure that it really does emulsify and blend in. So I'm gonna carry on, keep watching, and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. A little bit messy, apologies for that. Okay, my tomb's ready. Um, and if you look at the consistency, if I just take my blender, blender out, and if I just show you, it should basically hold consistency, so it shouldn't just flop back. It should be like a thickish type custard. So this is ready to basically be put away into the fridge, and you can store it for a couple of weeks. So give it a go. Let me know how it turns out. I'm just going to try it, actually. Wow. 
kebab. The only thing missing is an Adana kebab or some Donna kebab. Keep following, You'll, I'll show you how to make those. Have a good day, take care, bye.